Hello, Indigos, and welcome back to our channel, The Indigo Room. I am Sydney. I am an Indigo, and this channel is for Indigos. If you think you're an Indigo, you know you're an Indigo, you have an Indigo child, you're a parent of an Indigo, or, you know, maybe you're dating an Indigo, <laughs> or you're in love with an Indigo, this is the channel for you. And this channel is was directed by my guides to change the content of this channel and to focus only on indigos and what they are choosing to be, do, and have here on planet Earth. And so today we are in the 1212 portal, and it's a very powerful, potent portal. And there's a lot of energies going around that we've been experiencing. I want to say from um, August, which was the Lionsgate, the 8-8 portal. And then we had the 10-10 portal, the 9-9 portal, the 11-11 portal, and now the 12-12 portal. And the 11-11 portal was like the energetic reset that we all needed and we are um, now today in the 12 12 12 12 portal and this is the actual new year okay i know new year starts on january 1st but not your energetic new year not the indigo new year <laughs> so i wanted to just find out what our guides want us to know. Our guides, our ascended masters, Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, and our angels and archangels wanted us to know today for this uh, new energy that's coming in. It's very potent. As I said um, a couple days ago, maybe it was the, yes, yesterday, yesterday, that this is a very powerful one, this 1212 portal. And there's a lot of stuff coming up for a lot of us. And this is a really great time. As we saw, we got all those um, messages from the Oracle cards that our guides collectively asked me to create. And they uh, are stating that this portal, the 1212 portal, as well as this year's uh equinox which is i believe on december 22nd that's the that's the date they keep giving me december 22nd december 22nd um is very very powerful extremely one of the most powerful ones we've ever had so i wanted to just find out what messages they have for us i cleared the space i um, prayed over the cards and meditated and while i was meditating uh today one of the messages was for us to act as if today is January 1st. <laughs> you know, because we're conditioned to believe everything starts, the new year starts on January 1st. And that's when we make all of our New Year's resolutions and we create our vision boards and, you know, what we want to create, be, do, and have for the new year. But actually, today and the coming days to follow, probably up until maybe uh, the 14th or the 15th of December, are actually, is actually the time for us to do that. So I want to encourage you to take a moment and oh, pretend and act as if Today is January 1st. You're celebrating the new year for yourself. And we're going to pull some Oracle cards today. And I just want to, again, bless these cards with a sage that's burning, as I did before. Before we get ready, and I set them all on fire. <laughs> and we are going to pull some angel cards as well today. And possibly to our angel numbers. Hopefully I don't, you know, run out of time. One of the things that we are encouraged to do is to drink 
plenty of water. So if you're not a water drinker, make that part of your New Year's, um, I hate to say resolutions, but New Year changes, all right? New Year changes. These are New Year changes and that you want to create, be, do, and have in your experience right now. And one of those things you may want to really focus on is connecting with your own your own very own you have your very own guides that are going to help you here do the work that you chose to come here to do so let's see mother father god archangels ascended masters our highest guides from the blue realm and our angels holy spirit what would you like for the indigos who are here now incarnated to know what messages would you like us to know i'm just going to pull from the top you are more powerful than you realize you are more powerful than you realize that is a message that i've often had to pay attention to but right now in the 1212 portal, that's the message for you. You are more powerful than you realize. And now we're asking you to step into your power, realize your truth, focus on your truth, know who you are, and allow the world to see the real you and when you look at this you are more powerful than you realize you may have been told that you don't know what you're talking about and you may have been told that you being an indigo doesn't matter you may have been told that this spirituality that you are fallen into is not the truth you may have a lot of doubts a lot of thoughts step out of your thoughts and overthinking and understand that you are a, you are a powerful loving being number one and love is the most powerful energy in the universe i know it looks like hatred is and all of these negative energies are, but those energies are not who you are. Not really. You are love, and love is the most powerful energy in the universe. Once you know how to wield it and use it, it's not mamby pamby, it's not wishy washy, it is the most powerful and strongest energy in the universe. You are more powerful than you realize. Fear. You, some of you indigos have fear about your power. And this is a really great time to let go of that because it's false evidence appearing real. You know, you've heard of that before. False evidence appearing real. That's all that fear is. And when you realize your power and step into your truth, the truth of who you really are, you'll start to notice your own fears are starting to fall away. And however, as you step into your power, there will be people that manifest around you fear of you and of who you are and how you move, and how you know things and how you experience things. Don't let that take you off your own path to truth of who you are, Indigos. This is a great time to release the fear and let go of the fear and the doubt and the worry. See, fear happens to encompass a lot of different lower vibrations discomfort, dis-ease, 
unworthiness, hate, distrust, false masks that people put on themselves to fit in. You may have been doing that, wearing a false mask to fit in to this world's vibration. It is time now to drop that. Drop all of the masks that you have been wearing over eons and eons and every time you've incarnated and allow yourselves to be the truth of who you really came here to be and who you really are to begin with. Your ancient royalty. Just saying. Some of you. And some of you are just ancient beings. Okay. This is a really great time to not be sending out any negative energy. Do not send out negative energy unless you are willing to receive it back. As we stand here in this 1212 portal, trust and believe that anything that you imagine to be, do, and have has a very powerful manifestation vibration to it. Do not send out negative energy unless you are willing to receive it back. This is for the coming year, not just for a couple of days, right? Moving forward, period. Moving forward. If you've sent out negative energy to people, okay? Call that energy back. Call all of your energy back. Transmute it to love and use it for yourself. And do not send out any negative energy unless you're willing to receive it back. Because what you send to another, if they are not willing to accept it, it comes back to the sender. Comes right back to you. Pay attention to what you're sending out and the vibrations that you're sending out and the energies that you're sending out. Because you're a powerful being. You are one of the most powerful beings right here on planet Earth right now at this time. Okay. No, we're not taking that one. Okay. Do not doubt your gifts as i've said over and over some of you are powerful healers powerful energy transmuters powerful teachers ancient wisdom is locked up inside of you some of you are really good artists, musicians, architects, farmers, archaeological scientists, mathematicians, shamans, energy workers and healers, light workers. Some of you are light workers and don't even realize that you're light workers. You're working in a job and you think that's it. That's not what you came here to be, do, and have. You came here, you know, you're using the job for whatever to uh, take care of yourselves while you're here on this planet. But that's not That's not your life's purpose. There's something within that that you came to be doing have something within that what you're doing right now that you're doubting your gifts and you don't realize how just how powerful you are and you are not allowing yourselves the benefit of your gifts blossoming 
look at some of the synchronicities and some of the signs that you're getting and the messages that you're receiving. Listen to the messages that some of the music that you're listening to. Is it encouraging you? Is it giving you encouraging messages? Do you see the same messages over and over or hear them over and over? That is your guides, your team, your spiritual team trying to get through to you about your gifts, what they are. Some of you are clairvoyant. Some of you are clairaudient. Some of you are psychic. Listen, I just found out about some gifts that I didn't even realize I had. Those are gifts from spirit, from God, from Holy Spirit, from your team that you came here with. Some of you are powerful um, moms and dads. You're here to teach the younger generations of indigos. Some of you are older indigos and you didn't even realize you were an indigo. You've been told all these years that you don't know what you know. Do not doubt your gifts. Look at them. See what it is that you came to be, do, and have, and how you can use your gifts to help the collective and help the planet ascend. Okay, Spirit, do you have any more messages for our, the Father God, Holy Spirit, for our indigos that are listening to this message? And if this message doesn't resonate with you, do pay attention to the fact that we are in the 1212 portal today. Do pay attention that this is the time for you to really step into your gifts and step into your power, let go of fear and not to send out any negative energy and let them walk away. Let them go, let them walk away. You walk away. It's time now. Some of you have been holding on to relationships that have not served you for years and years and years. And you don't even know why. You've been conditioned. I know I was. You know, you don't let go of friends. You don't let go of relationships. You hang in there. You hang in there. You hang in there. Listen, now is not the time to be hanging on to anything that no longer serves you. And by that, I mean that brings you stress, that brings you chaos, that brings you confusion, that hurts you that makes you feel in any kind of way less than the awesome and enlightened being that you are, the powerful being that you are, the magnificent being, unique, extraordinary being that you are, Indigo. Let them go, walk away, send them love and be done. We got the other message, cut the cords, call on Archangel Michael yes, yesterday to cut the cords and let them go. Let them go and walk away. Walk away energetically. Walk away vibrationally. There's no hatred in that. Sometimes we hang on to people and we don't even realize that we're blocking their own blessings. We're blocking their own growth by hanging on and hanging on. You're stunting your growth, your evolution, and theirs too. The arrogance of it all. One more. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, Archangels. Our highest guides from the blue realm, what one more message did you want us to hear? <laughs> you are unique, Indigo. There is nobody in the universe, on the planet, 
just like you. Nobody has your thoughts. Nobody has your specific vibration. Nobody has your ideas. Nobody has the way you do things, how you speak. No one, just like a snowflake. You are unique unto yourself. You know, I think about when somebody says, oh, I want to open up that business, but it's saturated. The market is saturated with so-and-so or this or that. But then you look around and every day somebody's opening up a new restaurant or somebody's opening up a new gas station or pizza restaurant, right? Because nobody makes or does or has a custom service or does the thing exactly like that person. Nobody does exactly what you do. You are unique. Maybe you have a book that you have inside of you that you want to write. You go, oh, you know, there's just so many books out in the universe. I'm not going to write that book. Child, how many books are there with that are coming out every day? And you And they become bestsellers, some of them. Some of them don't, but they still make a lot of money and they still help a lot of people. Oh, I can't be a singer. There's too many singers out there. What? I can't be a dancer. There's too many dancers out there. What? I can't be a car driver. There's too many drivers out there. What? I can't build a new car because somebody already made it. What? Do you understand? You're unique. Nobody can do what you do the way you do it. Nobody can be the way you are the way the way you are. Nobody can dance the way you dance. Nobody can move the way you move. Nobody can write the way you write. Nobody can think the way you think. Nobody can heal the way you heal. No one. Only you can do that. So do not doubt your gifts. You are more powerful than you realize. Let go of the fear. Let them walk away. And do not send out negative energy unless you're willing to receive it back. And they're all, look at the cards. They're all blue. Every single one of them. And I write these cards in all kinds of different colors. So this is your message directly from our guides, our highest guides. Mother, Father, God, and Holy Spirit for the port 1212 portal. But start writing down your plan, what it is that you intend to do for 2023. What is it that you want to let go? What is it that you want to grow? What is it that you want to see become a reality in your life? new year and if you haven't checked out our 30 day act as if it's already done praise and thanksgiving assume it is real act as if it's already done praise and thanksgiving series i will put that in the video right up there so you can click that and do those 30 days this is a great time to start that 30 days right of manifesting, acting as if, and figuring out what you want to be, do, and have, and connecting to your guides, and talking to your team, and getting on this train that we're on. Because we have some powerful energies to work with. This is a gift. It's like, an, it's like a wonderful early Christmas gift from our source, from our mother, father, God, from our angels, from our guides, from the universe. And it's not just specifically for indigos, but yo, indigos, this is a really powerful time for us to be able to get crack a lacking. <laughs> So this is your 1212 portal message, Indigos, and um, we're going to take a break and then we're going to 
do your angel messages for today. Pull some tarot. Okay. As the content in this video resonated with you so far, so we can continue to connect energetically, make sure to hit the like button. And please, if you're not subscribed yet, take a moment to do that right now. Make sure to click the all bell so you will be notified when we upload new content or when we go live. Let me know what you're thinking, or if you have a question, leave it in the comments below. You can connect with me and other Indigos more personally by joining our private Indigo Room group on Bali. Visit the indigoroom.org website for additional Indigo content, resources, merch, blog, coaching services, my books, the Bali app download, and to join our private mailing list. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the channel banner. And if you'd like to support the channel monetarily, our cash app is dollar sign Indigo Room. Make sure to check the description. All important information and links are below. Okay, so we are going to see what the angel messages are for us as indigos today. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Holy Spirit. Ascended Masters. Archangels and our highest guides from the blue realm. What would you like Indigos, the Indigo Collective, to know today regarding the bottom of the deck we have the page of wands which is ideas that's cool we need new ideas for the new new energies right what would you like our indigo collective okay you got two cards one two we need Three more. Another Father God, Holy Spirit. Archangel. Two more cards, please. One more card, please. Ooh. Okay. So let's pull the cards and see what we have going on today. So the first card is your center is the center card and it's your situation right now. And then the second card is what will my wish bring me? And the third card here are blocks or opportunities. And then the fourth card is advice and action to take. And then the fifth card is the final outcome. We only pull five cards. We don't do any clarifying cards and and if this does not resonate you with you, then leave it. If it does, use it, right? Doesn't apply, let it fly. So the first card we have out in the center card is the moon, angel of dreams. And remember at the bottom of the deck, we had the page of wands, which was ideas. We keep getting the moon card, angel of dreams. You saw me shuffle it. So. <laughs> and then our second card is the Knight of Cups, which is spirituality. And the fourth, I'm sorry, the third card is the world. We don't do reversals here. The Angel of Success. 
And again, the third card is what are our blocks or opportunities? And the second one is what is our what would our wish bring us? And the fourth position, again, is the advice. And that's the Ten of Pentacles, support. And then we have the outcome, which is a Three of Pentacles, which is action. So the center card, I mean, the, 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 what is our situation right now is the moon card, Angel of Dreams. Angel of Dreams. And this card, again, is representing illusion, mystery, um, the subconscious secrets that are buried, buried wisdom, intuition, confusion, or doubt. However, with this 1212 portal, this is a really powerful card and the overall message being new ideas. So pay attention to your dreams right now. I've said this before over and over. Our guides, our team, Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit connects with us in our dreams. Okay. A lot of times. And they send us messages and downloads while we're sleeping because we're not busy with the tit, 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 tit of our thoughts and we're we're uh, we're we're kind of easier to interact with let's say <laughs> we're less wicky wacky and we're easier to interact with when we're sleeping and easier to be more receptive to the messages that are being sent to us and they connect with us in, during dream time. Put a dream journal by your bedstand. If you don't have a dream journal, get yourself a notebook and make it your dream journal. Put it by your or put it on your bedstand and write in it as soon as you wake up the dreams that you're getting. Write the messages down. Because if you wait you know, and you start stretching, you look at your phone, you're paying attention to your phone. Those messages flitter away and you have a hard time remembering and recollecting what the, the dream was to begin with as you move further and further. Listen, as soon as you open your eyes, it almost dissipates. You pick up your phone, that's it, it's a wrap. Pick up a pen, a piece of paper, and write it down. There is something in there specifically, not specifically, specifically <laughs> for you. There's a message for you. There's guidance for you. There's help for you. There's new ideas for you. Pay attention to your dreams, your intuition as well. This moon card represents and write those messages down. You may be seeing synchronicities. Write them down. Because if you don't, you will forget. Trust me. <laughs> if you don't write it down, you'll forget about it later. And there is a powerful affirmation that comes with this. And that's, I appreciate what my intuition is telling me and connect with my deeper self. Your intuition will always speak to you. You may have a blocked intuition. Some things may be hidden because that also represents, that also is part of the moon indigo. There may be some things that are hidden from you and you have to do some healing work to pay attention to your intuition. Just because you're an indigo doesn't mean like, you know, oh, I have all, I know I'm the all knowing, all seeing, all being uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the man behind the curtain. Nope, nope, nope. You got work to do. You got some healing work to do, Indigo, so that you can have your intuition unblocked. Some of you don't even realize that you have an intuition. Apparently, I'm getting, I'm hearing. Some of you don't have not even been paying attention to that inside voice. This is a time for you to do that. And then we have in the second position, we got spirituality. The Knight of Cups. <sighs> the Knight of Cups. Uh, 
So the Knight of Cups, which represents spirituality, it also represents new ideas, okay? It could be that some of you indigos right now have been thinking about or met someone new, a new love interest possibly, but we want to pay attention with the moon here, right? We just want to pay attention with the moon because we may be not seeing the things that we need to see with this Knight of Cups. But it also could be that some of you right now are um, seriously looking at an opportunity that looks great to you on paper, right? But you may need to check any details. Again, some things may be hidden from you with the moon, the moon card here on the deck, on the table. But you want to just check the details before you commit. And in relationships, it can mean a new love, okay? But it could also mean marriage proposals. Some of you may be looking to get married and some of you may be getting married or asking somebody to marry you. And it also looks at new ideas. This represents new ideas coming in. Ha ha, pay attention to your dreams. And at the bottom of the deck, we had new ideas as well. So pay attention to the dreams that you're having, any new ideas, and the chance to follow up on your spiritual interests. Some of you may now just be understanding that you're an indigo. Follow up on that. Pay attention to that. Find out all the information you can. Connect with your guides again, right? Spirituality is um, really a very powerful way for you to connect with your inner self, your inner being. Trust and know that you have the knowledge or the wherewithal to find the knowledge that you need necessary to elevate your vibration, shift and change your vibration. Listen to the guidance and wisdom that you're receiving. Again, we talked about this just a little while ago in your Oracle messages. So what are the blocks and opportunities? The blocks and opportunities is the world, the angel of success. In your blocks and opportunities, you have the world. And that is the angel of success. It's also the last card in the tarot deck. Okay. You look at that. It's the last card. That means you have traversed all of the wiki wackiness in this cycle. You completed a cycle, whichever cycle that you may be in. It could be a love cycle. It could be a relationship cycle. It could be all of the cycles combined. Typically, it's money, health, wealth, love, right? You completed a cycle. Now, if you think about it, it's the 1212 portal, right? New cycle begins. So a new cycle is beginning for you. You've gone through some really hard times. I feel like some of you have. I feel like some of you have gone through the dark night of the soul, just like me, right? You have transformed yourself this past year, past few years. And you've completed a successful, completed a cycle successfully. And now you're getting ready to move into something beautiful, into something delicious, into something wonderful, into something fabulous with this vibration that you have, if you allow it to come to fruition. The only thing, person that can stop this is you. You're the only one. You're the only one that can stop this. So if we look at the numbers, right? For the world, it's two tens. Two tens equals 20. And then two plus zero equals two. Two. We're in the two. Year 2022. You may be seeing two, two, two on the phone a lot. I just watched this really amazing movie called 222 the other day. Last, I think it was last Sunday. Spirit kept hitting me up, hit me up. Go watch, go, go put a movie on. I was like, what? Go put a movie on, relax. Spirit just wanted me to relax 
and receive and allow myself to just receive the energies that are coming in. And I'm giving you that advice too. Relax. You just completed a cycle. Relax yourself, right? Allow your allow yourself the ability to receive the blessings from the universe, from spirit, from God, from your angels, from your team. Allow the energies, you know, we're so busy here in this, on this planet, trying to get, 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 be, 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 do, 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 have, have, have. And you forget that you have the ability to also receive. You have to stop and receive sometime. Slow yourself down. Anyway, I watched this movie called 222. Never saw it, never heard about it before in my life. And um, I turned on my uh, Prime video, my clicked on it, and Spirit was like, yeah, that movie right there, that's what we want you to watch. And I was like, where did that come from? It's been out since 2017. I've never seen it. Never, never even knew it existed. It is so good. I've already watched it three times. <laughs> Anyway, you may be seeing 222 around today. Let me just say, I have, this is what's been popping up for me. 111, 222, 333, and 444. Okay? 444. So pay attention again to the signs and synchronicities that you've been seeing. All right? And this is the world. I'm going to read to you what it says from the book because it's a powerful message. And if you look at this reading right now, we've gotten two major arcanas on, on the table. The angel of success is a dancer full of joy who represents the coming together of the many aspects of the self and of life in mind, body, and spirit. We are whole. As the dancer moves, so life moves on. The world turns. Number 21, that is the last card, the last card of the um, major arcana sequence. The shape of the world is a zero, echoing zero, the fool or angel of innocence, while the 21 reduces, oh, I said that this was a two. Nope, it's not a two, but you still may be seeing two, two, two. <laughs> while the um, number reduces to a three, 21 reduces it to a three, the number of three, the empress and uh, creation. That's the number of the empress. We also have the three of pentacles on the table. The um, empress and creation, we are praised, poised to begin anew and ready to begin a new life phase. So I said that this was uh, 20, it's actually 21. And, uh, but you still may be seeing the number 222. Okay, if this reduces to a three, and you may be seeing the number 333, the, th the number 333 on your phone or, you know, in your experience. I've been seeing all the numbers today during this portal. So this is um, about you completing a cycle and getting the knowledge and the wisdom that you needed to continue to move on your path and you're attracting security and money while following your path whatever that path may be and this is a really happy card it is the seed of new ideas journey or a spiritual path and the opening up of infinite possibilities for the future that is a wonderful card for us to be getting for you guys right now on this day and we're going to give you your power affirmation, which is I am blessed with health, wealth, and love. And the angel message that goes with this card is enjoy your achievements and look ahead to your next goals. It's time for new and exciting beginnings. New and exciting beginnings are on the way to you, my dear indigos. And then in our advice, 
is support the Ten of Pentacles. Again, this is one of the happy cards of the tarot deck. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. And you see down here it says support. Again, this is one of the happiest, best, one of everybody that I've ever seen pull cards loves. And when I used to pull cards back in the day, loves getting the Ten of Pentacles. That, especially with the World card, okay, is one of the happy commitment cards you may be receiving a commitment in business in relationships in your home you may be purchasing a new home you may be retiring right now and receiving an inheritance um, some of you may be getting married and blending families together um, some of you may be receiving financial support from your family or just receiving financial support in general. And you may be celebrating an engagement, your anniversary. You're just happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Healthy, wealthy, love. Health, wealth, love. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am successful. I am free. That is a mantra and a statement that I use anytime I have wiki wacky thoughts. I use that and let that pop into my mind as an I am statement. Take me away from those those wiki wacky. I hate the word negative, but sometimes you got to use it. Those wiki wacky thoughts, though. This is in your advice section and also your um, uh, action. So we're not really doing any action right now because we're being told to allow ourselves to play in this energy, swim in this energy, have fun in this energy, use your imagination in this energy to focus on what it is that you want to be, do, and have. And again, like I said before, check out the videos that we have for assuming it is real acting as if it's already done, praise and thanksgiving. Assume it's real, then move accordingly, and just keep giving thanks to Mother, Father, God, Spirit, Holy Spirit, your angels, your guides, and your um, ascended masters, that they're there to help you and support you. You may be seeing 1010 on the phone or around. I've been seeing that too. So I just know when I see those numbers that that's that's spirit. That's Holy Spirit. That's the universe trying to get my attention. And it, you're on the cusp of something miraculous. You just completed a very hard cycle. Some of you have been in that hard cycle for years. And now you're moving into something more delicious and more fabulous and fun. So this is your advice in your and your um, action section. And then... We have the Three of Pentacles. I like this card too. I love the Three of Pentacles. Okay? I love it. What's the final outcome? The Three of Pentacles, which is action. I guess the act, this should have been in the in the action section and then this should have been in the outcome section. Flip it, script it, take it how you want to take it. Okay? And you just completed a whole cycle over here and, you know, you want to relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor, but you're also starting something new, right? You got new ideas was on the bottom of the deck. You're also starting something new. And the final outcome is the three of pentacles. That is um, action. And when this arrives, that means that your work is acknowledged. See, you're stepping off and you're doing something new, right? You're stepping off, you're coming out of a hard cycle. You had all these new, you got all these new ideas. Listen, we're in, the, we're in the portal. You got all these wonderful, delicious ideas. And now you're going to apply those ideas, right? And get them to, you know, as you move out of the portal, right? As you move out of the portal, if you've done your imagination work, you've been up in here doing your imagination work, feeling good. What would it feel like if it were true? How can I move 
what is my next step? You're asking these questions during this time. Okay. You're relaxing. You're playing in this energy. You're swimming in this energy. You're enjoying this energy. You're in a happy, happy, happy place. But there is something new coming on the horizon, right? So as you move, after you do all your planning work, you're writing all your dreams down and all of this delicious stuff, now Indigo, you may be receiving a new opportunity for your next project, your next stepping off thing. So um, <clears throat> it could be that you're going to be given a talk or a speech or you're creating a workshop. It's going to be successful if you're doing any of that. You may be doing something online with that and that people are going to start applauding you. You may be performing on stage or um, presenting your home to a potential buyer. You know, maybe you're doing the whole retirement thing and now you want to sell your home and you want to move. Whatever it is, you're in the first stages of that project, but, but you're on the right track. You are on the right track. Keep going, right? Keep moving forward and keep going. So when you come out of this energy, you'll have some sort of idea or plan for what you want to do for, that's the plan. This is the stuff for you, for you, for 2023, right? That's, you know, you're going to take some action on those things, but you're going to be successful. You're on the right, you're on the right track. So that's your angel message reading along with your Oracle message reading for today. And because I took so long, I'm going to quickly do <laughs> your angel number for today. And, uh, let me go get that book. Okay, I didn't have my book handy. <laughs> I had to go get it. All right, so our angel number for today. Let's see. Maybe we'll pull 222 or 333. I don't know. Let's see. What would you like us to know, Mother, Father, God, angels, archangels? What message do you, number do you want to share, angel number you want to share with indigos today? Oh, that's the front of the book. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 404. That's where my eyes drop. 404. God and angels are supporting you in sharing your truth, gifts, and self to the world. Isn't that what I just said before? Look at that. Read it yourself. <laughs> That's from the Angel uh, Angel Numbers book by uh, Kyle Gray. Thank goodness I remember his last name because you can't read it on this. You can't even see it anymore. But um, you can pick it up. The link is in the description below if you wanted to purchase that book. And again, if you do want to make a purchase of our <clears throat> Indigo Bundles, protection bundle to protect your energy, you can do that on the Indigo Room website, indigoroom.org. It has um, your angel um, protection bundle. It comes with a candle, palo santo wood, sage, and <clears throat> energy protection bracelet. All right, indigos, have a great day. Let me just do your prayer. Mother, Father, God, ascended masters, Holy Spirit, archangels, angels, and our highest guides from the blue realm surround all of the indigos within the sound of my voice who are listening to this message with your magic mighty circle so that nothing unlike thee may find entrance at any time and keep it sustained without a break. If this message resonated with you, take it and apply it. If it didn't, let it fly. But if it did <clears throat> and you have something you would like to share, leave a comment down below. And whenever you receive this message, it is timeless because we are all on different timelines and all are shifting and changing. Energies shift and change daily, moment to moment. So remember who you are, dear Indigo. Remember that you are Indigo source energy right here in a physical body. Remember that you can be, do, and have anything that you desire. And remember, it's not being extraordinary that makes you unique. 
It is your unique indigo energy that makes you extraordinary. I will see you on the next video. I love you and enjoy this energy. See you soon.